Hi, this is Erin Skinner, registered dietitian nutritionist and owner of Real Nutrition Rx. I'd like to share a super quick and simple recipe with you today. It's grain-free paleo waffles, and there's a few different versions of this out there. And um, so I might change it up a little bit from what, something you might have seen before, but this is one that my kids always love and that is quick, and so I kind of end up making it pretty often. So first of all, I have two mashed really ripe actually a little bit overripe if you can if you can get a hold of it. Two really ripe bananas, just squish them up with a fork. No need to get a blender out in this recipe. Throw that in your bowl. And then I've got three eggs that I've already whisked together here. So I'm just gonna throw my whisk whisk three eggs in there. If you can try to get free range organic eggs. Uh, a good sign for an egg is the yolk is gonna be dark yellow. It's gonna stand up when you crack the egg into a bowl or so lying flat, that's kind of one good sign that you've got a good nutritious egg going. So whisk those two ingredients together. Then next I'm going to add, I have here a third of a cup of just coconut flour. So grain free recipe, we're going to use coconut flour. And then I've also added a tablespoon of chia seeds, which are optional, but I find that these are a really quick and easy way to get a little extra fiber and omega-3 fats into my kids' diets and of course mine and my whole family's. So, I kind of sneak those into things when I get a chance. It also kind of makes a little bit of a good binder. If you use chia seeds before, you've probably seen that they kind of fluff up and have a fun texture when they get mixed with liquid. I also have here a half a teaspoon each of finely ground sea salt and baking powder, homemade baking powder, that I can share that recipe with you if you like, just let me know. And then half a teaspoon of something called cinnamon plus, which is kind of like pumpkin pie spice, a little bit of an orange flavor. But if you don't have cinnamon plus, you can use pumpkin pie spice or just cinnamon. So half a teaspoon of each of those. Throw that in there, whisk it up again. And it's pretty thick right now, so we're gonna start adding our liquids. I've got here a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Try to use real pure vanilla extract, not the imitation vanilla, please. And then finally, a quarter cup of this is ghee that is uh, that's clarified butter, which has very little dairy protein in it, but if you prefer it or if you don't tolerate dairy, then you know half the time I'll use melted coconut oil instead. And so melted coconut oil is definitely a good substitution for the melted ghee. So mix that all together for your batter. It should have a pretty, um, actually kind of, Kind of a thicker texture than you might be used to with waffles. So it looks like this. And then we're going to pour that puppy into our waffle maker and, and get our waffles. Okay, it's time for our next step with these awesome waffles. I got my Misto here, a little bit of free advertising for Misto. You can put in here whatever oil you like and spray it so that you don't have to use something that has uh, undesirable ingredients in it to spray oil. So I've got my waffle iron here. All ready to go, just spray some oil on there. I've got about a third of a cup of batter. Dump it on there. Close that puppy down. And then just wait for it to cook and we'll see what comes out. Okay, this waffle is all cooked and ready to go. One of my family's favorite way to eat these is with a little bit of real maple syrup on it, which actually is pretty nutrient rich if you didn't know that. And then maybe some fruit on top. Definitely this is one way to get your kids to eat something that's good for them Make, by putting a little fruit, a little bit of syrup on there. But if you're looking to control your weight or maybe lean out a little bit or control your carbs for some reason, then um, no problem. You could do some nut butter on this. You could do a little bit of butter if you tolerate dairy. And um, or just eat it plain, it's really good. So here you go. It's delicious. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.